I'm gonna call this, why does he wear the mask? Is that a reference to something, Falcon? Yeah, it could be, it could be. Tell me about Bane! Alright, so you know what? I've played video games for the entirety of my lifetime. I mean, how hard could it possibly be to make your own video game, right? And here in City Game Studio, we get that chance. So it's very similar to, say, a Mad Games Tycoon, a Game Dev Tycoon. However, there's a couple of small changes and differences that seem very intriguing to me, such as the ability to work with your competition. You could actually work with them here, co-produce, but at the same time, you could also ruin the release dates, poach their members for your staff, etc., etc. You get a chance to build different buildings, manage different studios. So, that all seemed very intriguing to me. I figured we'd check it out. This game comes out towards the end of February. I have a link down below if you want to check it out for yourselves. If you enjoyed, meanwhile, don't want to see more of it in the channel, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up, and we can definitely do so. All right, so this right here is going to be my character. We're going to be Falcon 69. I mean, you've heard of Suda 51, right? If Suda 51 can have freaking numbers in his name, I can be Falcon 69. So we'll have five competitors. We're playing normal. This is what I, I guess, relatively resemble. Sure. So let's see. Arabian Nights as my first game. I'm not sure if I'm ready for Arabian Nights. Um, can we change it to something else? Yes, we can. <gasps> oh my god, it's almost like this game was meant for me. What's trending? Post-apocalyptic. Well, that is... what a what a luck right there. I would say luck of the Irish, but I'm not Irish, but still. We'll call it the luck of the Irish here. I'm gonna call this, um... Let's go with, um, the, with the chicken game. We we're playing Undead Horde in the channel, which I've been able to raise a bunch of chickens from the dead. Cluckin? That's- you don't need a G if you're gonna use the Apostrophe Falcon. Cluckin Night Terror. That's what's up. So home, start it up, let's do it. Announce the game, yeah. Uh, publish a demo for 50,000? Sure, why not? We'll put a demo of our furry first game out there so people can make fun of it and be like, this is terrible. Um, so here we get to design the game first. We have characters, gameplay, graphics. We're going for an everybody audience. We can't change this, I guess, until we promptly level up and stuff like that. So, the green, one would imagine, means probably good. So, I guess we'll go graphics heavy. Uh, we don't know about characters or gameplay just yet. But, um, for post-apocalyptic... I would say, yeah, we gotta go a little bit high up for that, right? Characters, maybe not too important. Assuming it's not like, you know, a Walking Dead, the television show series, which is all about characters now and not really about the zombies. Um, so I'm gonna drop this a little bit low here. And gameplay, like, somewhere around over here. Okay, next. And, um, let's see here. Clucky Night Terror, the NES has just revealed their next game. The Clucky Night Terror will be available on the Ulysse. Okay. And let's speed this up. We could go up to three times speed. Very good. That's the design over there. So we have one heart of hype. A little bit of an extra heart, too. Design is up to an eight. And I guess this will be... I have to rest eventually, too. My boy cannot work all the time. He needs a little bit of rest. That would make sense, and we got a design up to a 13. Not too bad. Estimate the workload. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So, now we're in the development phase. Sound, you know what, I'll be honest with you, sound could really make or break a... a really atmospheric situation. So I'm gonna go up to, like, maybe here as well. I ain't gonna lie to you, like, you know, if you're, you're playing a zombie game, you wanna hear the shambling of the bodies and the groaning and stuff, and you're walking down a dark... alley, let's say, at nighttime, and you're hearing, like, footsteps and the moans in the background. I've been playing too much like Resident Evil 2 Remake, I guess, you know, where it's just... That's an amazing game, by the way. Can we talk about that game being so good? It is freaking amazing. I can't believe it lived up to the hype. A lot of games don't do that nowadays. Um, and finally we have Polish. Animation all the way over here. Optimization all the way over here. And... I mean, I don't mind going all out with this game. We are... We started with 250, though, and we're down to 76, so I'm losing a bunch of money here, but I'm hoping this game does well for us. Although, we don't have any fans, so we might not sell to it because of that to begin with, but, um... I don't know, maybe I'm that one indie developer who his first game just breaks through no matter what. Um, I'll keep everything down to center for now, I'm gonna say. And the price. 64000 is what we're left with here after our first game. Let's bring this up to maybe a $12 reduce, and we'll release it. Congratulations, you made your first game. You can now proceed to a post-mortem. In order to help evaluate his development, assign... Postmortem? Did somebody die? Did my game die already? What's a zombie game, I guess? A postmortem is a report of what went right or wrong during the development of the game. It gives you clues. Good. So let's, uh, I guess we'll... Do, do. Oh! Reviews coming in! Fan game, Game Over Magazine, Game Geek, Wiki Player. Clucky Knight. 
Good graphics, good characters, good optimization, good polish. The sound and artwork was not good though. I thought we went pretty high up with the sound. I even made a big, you know, entire Resident Evil 2 mention of it. The NES tries new combos and it works for them. This is an excellent post-apocalyptic action game. The NES has a great team. They shine on all sides. It will accept sound and artwork, apparently. Okay. You better make me some money here, boy, because, you know, I need money. So what can we do here meanwhile? Postmortem. Yeah, let's find a postmortem on this clucky night tear. What do we do good? What do we do bad? And let's see here. Here's what we learned from clucky night tear. Match between post-apocalyptic and action is an excellent match. Yo, yo, check this out. We got... What is that? What is 38? Oh, fans. 38 fans and the first week for sale. I did 260. I know how much you love my email. So here we are since we can observe good sales. I did calculations today. We're going to talk. Okay. All right. Let's talk about Clucky Night Terror. Sales are excellent. I think we can expect an 18% increase in sales. There you go. All right. So you'll do the math for me. I don't have to think. Let me rest up here a little bit. And meanwhile, that sells. And apparently we have a city map. To unlock the city map. I guess we have to make another game for that, huh? All right, Falcon's awake now. You're still selling. Let's make another game here. So let's select what's trending now. Um, well, I guess pre is prehistory in a sense. 73. Oh, dinosaurs. Okay, I guess we'll probably make it like an art clone or something. Name this right here. Okay, I'm gonna call this um dark. Dinosaurs and Ark put together dark. Plus, it's going to be like a very grim dinosaur game. No? It works pretty good. I think there was a game called Dark, was there not? Like in the PS3 or last generation that bombed. I remember seeing like in a front of like game magazines, this game Dark. And it was supposed to be like really good, a lot of hype. I think it just completely bombed because I don't remember anything about it. So it must have bombed. So let's go with um my ripoff of Ark here. And we'll start. Well, it's an action game, so gameplay's gotta be important. Character- Well, you know what? It's gameplay for prehistory, though. Last time it was for post-apocalyptic. Well, I'm still thinking gameplay's gonna be important. Characters will go down to there as well. See how that plays out. Oh, my boy is pumping those numbers. And... Do we want to spend 50000 for a demo? Sure, why not? Maybe it helped out the first time. The Nets has just revealed their next game, The Ark. It will be available in the releases. Fans are excited. So say we all. We got 71 fans. Damn right they should be excited. That design's looking fairly stellar, I would say, too. Another email. Virus unleashed. A new virus has been unleashed. It only targets the video game companies. It seems odd, but it slows down curses and randomly reboots computers. This will have a certain impact on the productivity of your employees. Only home is being attacked. Because we only have one studio, which is home. Uh, we have a virus that's affecting only me. Thanks a lot. Jerks. Um, Physics. Up to here. Luckily, we're getting the greens on this one, so it's not going to be too difficult for us. Sound it up like that. You know what? Sound is very low on this. Do you think I... Do you think the reason why it dinged me is because my sound was too high? Because we went fairly high. So some games, I guess, would benefit from less sound. I mean, but it's a post-apocalyptic one, dog. So let's see here. I guess it's off the market now. Clucky Night Tear. It made... Well, it sold for 12. It got a 76 fans in general. It was targeted for everybody. It made me 536 income. And this was our overall expenses. Oh yeah, we did fairly good then. Oh yeah, we did. All right, so design and development is looking fairly good. Now we got the polish coming up here. And over here for this, we got animation, optimization, and now artwork. I'm gonna go a little bit high on the artwork here. Spend a little bit extra money, but you know, better safe than sorry, right? Up to there seems fairly good to me. And speed it up like so. I want to see that polish go high up, boys. Uh, nothing of this virus thus far. I guess it would probably literally stop me if something would be happening right now, right? So we're doing fairly good. At the very least, we're not running the risk of like going out of business. That first game sale went fairly, fairly well. Oh, what? Oh, boys, but the numbers were so high. And we got a lot of 69s. I mean, how apropos would that be? Your boy makes a game and all of the scores are coming out of 69s. I just don't understand it. The only thing I heard was artwork. So only for artwork you ding me this much? I'm not even in the 70s at least? My god. Well, let's see how we do here. Um, this is a city map. Ooh. Oh, check it out. The comp oh, we have Circle Enix. We have Circle Enix. Okay. So we have Circle Enix. We have Rustin. Snowwork. I guess that's uh, Blizzard probably. Emails. 
Upcoming platform, we got the Watagi- Ah, uh, the Atari 2600's coming out, huh, boys? We'll release a new platform within a few months. It should last for years, no, no kidding. It did last for a while until eventually it, um, basically fizzled out and almost destroyed the entire gaming industry. Now, where would I buy... Yeah, here we go. 3% increase on that one, 5 for that one. Dark Metal Desk. Okay, so Falcon, I need you to get off of the freaking desk, because I'm gonna delete it. So press backspace to delete. I apparently sold myself too. And a whiteboard, so I could brainstorm my ideas. Darn right. Anything else that I need right now? How about a nice little plan of water fountain? Do you, you, you give me a productivity? Or maybe I'm thirsty? Maybe I need to rotate you a bit before I place you though? There it is. You know, I brainstorm ideas and I get thirsty afterwards. Perfect. Okay, assign myself back over here, please. Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna bank on superhero and action probably being a better combination in history. So we'll do superhero instead. It's only three less. This is gonna be a new IP for a fact. We gotta give this a good name here. And we're gonna call this, Why Does He Wear The Mask? Is that a reference to something, Falcon? Yeah, it could be. It could be. Tell me about Bane! Home. Start it up. So character is perfect. We know the numbers for this. We'll place this down to here. Let's not go over it because then it'll probably dig me for it. Let's just stay, put it right there. Gameplay fairly high. Graphics up to here. Next that up. Alright. And we're at three times speed. Yes, we are. Let's announce this game too. Um, run an advertising campaign. I'm do demo just because I'm trying to get up to that next um, employee. Speaking of which, um, we're going to probably have to increase the space here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that other employee. Well, I mean, I don't want them working in my house, too. You know, it's a little bit invasion of privacy when you think about it. So, Dark is off the market now. Um, and it made 379. I'm not sure how that did, actually. Less. It did less than the, the zombie game. The zombie did like 500, correct? So, yeah, it did less. Unfortunately, that did not work as good as I was hoping for. But look at the design so far for this one. 20. All right. Those extra, <laughs> that whiteboard and that little water thing is helping me out so much. This will probably, maybe, we'll see how it goes, but it might be the last game that we make for the release, and then we have to move over to the Atari 2600. What did I tell you? It's been released. Oh, man. Oh, man. I hope that doesn't tank my game right now, because it might. It might tank it. I'm thinking the moment we finish this game, we jump over to the Watagi. We might have to buy a license for it, too, or something, too, is what I would imagine. Another email. All right, hold up. Animation, optimization, and artwork. What's up here? The staff of Home Studio have found a stray cat hidden behind some trash. This cat is very cuddly and the staff has already given it a name. What do you want to do? I'm not gonna abandon the kitty cat! Adopt him! Yeah. Where's he at? Oh, I don't get to see him? Game, you don't you don't tease me with having a cat pet and I don't get to see him. I kind of do want to sell it at 10 just because there's a new console in the market, so we might want to reduce our prices to make sure we get these sales. I'm gonna leave it at a 10, which is, a, I guess, the default. Because the market share's not 3.6. I'm pretty sure the uh, Atari is killing it now. So release that. Alrighty. Oh, of course, once the freaking console is being abandoned, I pop my first 80. Why does... He wear the mask? <laughs> okay, what do we got here? It lacks development? I don't even know what that means. I developed that game pretty well, my friend. Okay. So hopefully it sells. Oh, it's at, it's selling, it's selling. Your studio's growing, producing more games, uh, but huh? Keep in mind that the best games are produced by terms of strong design, development, polishing, yeah. Oh, we have enough to hire a person now. Um, where, uh, where do I put this extra person? I don't think they would fit here, would they? It's gonna be fairly cramped in there, and we're not gonna be able to move. We're like gonna be like, you know, sardines in a tin can here, but um, there's enough for another desk so we could hire somebody and assign them there. I guess we could have rented just a bigger apartment eventually. Uh, nah, 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 nah. We're gonna work for my house here for a while. You think I am? I'm not over here crapping money out. So let's go into three times speed. Go back, or just unpause, whatever. Let's hire. I'm thinking we either go. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Imep. Sure. Oh, it's a female. Okay, it's a it's a it's a feminine name, I guess. I have learned that. And let's um, I gotta give you a PC one would imagine. There you go. Okay. So Falcon, you get some sleep, and. Emails, uh, was... I think we already checked that out. Yeah, sure, we did. I think we did. Okay, so once this is good, we're good to go. Our next game will put us into the convention. 
And I imagine we'll also... Yeah, we can now move out if we want to. Well, you know what? I went through all that effort to keep us in here. I'm not moving out yet. Spontaneous application. I am Riha Jagab. I love the nest and I would like to join your team as soon as possible. I will be able to effective and bring new knowledge to your teams. Um, I don't have room for you. Could I hire you and keep you, like, without paying you? Is that a possibility? I don't know. I uh, quote-unquote hired him. We'll see. Once I move out, it'll probably work out. What is it now? Rabbit invasion. Rabbits everywhere. They're making some noise running everywhere, but nobody notices them and people continue to work. What happened to my cat? My cat should be taking care of this rabbit situation right now. I right, can we pause now to make a game? Good. Um, we need to switch over to the Atari. There it is. So it's gonna cost us $50 to get the license. Go for it. It's fine. Look at the market share for it though. So boom. Okay. Nice. Now let's go into select. What's trending dragons apparently are. Kind of. Damn a lot. Well, pirates seems to have the better thing. Zombie is at a plus three as well. I think we go with zombie. Walking. Devs. We'll make a zombie game about game developers. Therefore, it's the walking devs. It just kind of writes itself, doesn't it? And we'll announce the game. And we will go ahead. And for this one, I'm thinking it's not trending enough to spend too much money. So we'll just do a demo here for now again. You guys are running now? Excellent. Emap, put some points into the design right now. I can't have Falcon doing everything. Emap, you better put some points into that design right now. I'm surprised that why does he wear the mask is still in the mark? It's going to be our highest selling game thus far, too. Definitely is. So it worked out. I mean, it did have more fans at that point. But this game did attract the 141 fans alone. So it definitely even... Man, even more than doubled our current fan base, I would say. It's off the market. Everybody has 145 fans. 694. Very good for our spin-off of the CIA agent meme there, huh? Physics will go up to here. Artificial intelligence there. Sound through there. Next it up. Guys, continue working. Design is at 27. Look at development, though. With two people developing this, is going to be good. And we're leveling her up, too. Very good. So the walking devs, we're talking about the Atari now. So I'm not sure what the right price should be, but I'm going to go up to maybe a 14. We have enough fans now that maybe it'll work. Release it. Your game catalog is worth being seen. Participating conventions may help you improve your visibility. You can participate in conventions. This will increase it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, how would I do this. I have to organize a convention first. Um, we have 80, 71, 77, and 70. All right. Our averages are indeed going up. Oddly enough, the last game we made was an 80-something. It was even higher than this one just by myself, but still. What do we got here? Poor polish and design. Really? I thought it was fairly good. The Walking Dust, a satisfying metal. Okay, hold up. What's happening here? Oh, to um, participate in the convention. Magma Box has released a new platform. Oh, the Ulysses is back on the market too. It's not falling behind. It definitely wants to challenge the Atari MF sleeping. Okay, F fairly decent numbers for the first week, right? It's going up still, going up. We'll see how it does. See how it does. We're at uh, 1.5 mil roughly overall thing. Falcon, get some rest over here really quickly. Oh, it's dropping really quick. Hmm. Not as good as I was hoping it would do. You guys both let me down. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for this one, though. I hope you enjoyed it. This is City Game Studio. All the information will be down below. comes out towards the end of the month. Um, if you'd like to see more of this in the channel here, meanwhile, let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up. If we do come back, we have to organize a convention, and we have to move out. We have an extra person to put to work, and as you can see, me and other person barely fit here. So we need a lot more room to move around. I will catch you next time.